What is up, mis amigos? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking a little something about should you double clutch on an upshift? So let me kind of explain myself first as to where I'm coming from with this. So I saw the first Fast and Furious movie again after so many years. And if you're following the channel, you might have seen that I've started, you know, taking my car to the track and participating in some friendly test and tune sessions. Well, anyways, one of the first races that goes on in the movie, if not the first, where Brian goes against Dom and those two other guys. After Dom beats him, he makes a comment to Brian, and one of those comments are, you know, granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. And it kind of got me confused because I was like, well, what is this guy talking about? They just had a drag race. He's talking about double clutching. The only thing that I'm familiar with double clutching for is, you know, essentially rev matching on a downshift. So, it got me curious, and I resorted to everybody's best friend, Google, and I started finding out all this other information. Now, there's two videos that I came across talking about double clutching uh, that are, you know, two relatively, I guess, viral videos, which one is by Engineering Explained. Essentially, what double clutching is on an upshift, if you don't know, is it's pretty much the same thing as double clutching on a downshift, but you do it on an upshift instead. All right, let me just explain what a double clutch on an upshift is real quick. So the left leg is for clutch, right leg is for gas. So just imagine that we're moving right now, we're in first gear, we're getting ready to shift to second gear. What you would do is you would clutch in, go to neutral, clutch out, clutch back in, go to second gear, clutch out, give it gas, okay? So that's basically the concept of it. All right, let me try to get a few shifts in for you and just kind of describe of course, you're not going to be able to feel it through the video, but let me just kind of describe to you exactly what I'm feeling here. Let's go ahead and go. All right, we're going. Go to third gear. See, super smooth. Okay, we're going to go to fourth. It's just, it's it's effortlessly, it's crazy. But it's, it's a super smooth shift without really trying. Now, the way to do it with your clutch pedal, the best way I can describe it is to kind of, when you clutch in and you clutch back out, you kind of like bounce a little bit. So essentially what, when you're bouncing, right? When you're bouncing, clutch in, clutch out, you bounce when your foot is at the bottommost point of the clutch, you're shifting to neutral, right? You're coming back out. And then when you go back in all the way in, you shift to second gear. I don't know, I, I, that's the best way I can describe it. It's kind of like more like a bounce. It's not like a boom, boom, like real jet. It's not like real jerky. It's, it's just like a fluid bounce, like a fluid bounce in and bounce back kind of like that now the first time I did this I was a little bit kind of confused as to why anybody would want to do this because it seemed very foreign it seemed very weird like double clutching on an upshift it just doesn't make sense it seems like a lot of work right but anyways after um, looking at those videos on you know engineering explained and the other one essentially what I came to the, the the conclusion of is that the only reason you would really want to do a or do double clutching on an upshift essentially is to kind of, um, I guess maybe prevent wear and tear on you know your drivetrain by matching the speed of all the moving parts, the major moving parts, so that way when you shift it's much smoother. And that's actually true. Now, with the newer transmission like the one in here, it's an MT82 I believe, for the 2018 uh, manual EcoBoost Mustang, uh, there's not really a big problem with shifting smooth, and if anything, when you shift, if you notice, for this, I don't know if it's all cars or what, all manual transmissions, but I notice on this car, when you shift, you know, if you, like for example, you shift to second gear, your RPM drops, it'll stay where it needs to be for a slight second before it actually keeps dropping. So essentially, it'll rev match for you on the upshift. Now, when I did try this for the first time, I did notice that shifting smoother became almost effortlessly which is weird because, so for example, when I would shift from second to third gear using the double clutch method on, on an upshift, it was very, very smooth. And the only reason that I can see why anybody would want to do this, especially in a car with a newer transmission, is if you're kind of just learning how to drive a manual transmission, or maybe you just can't get down the, you know, the smoothness of shifting, um, which takes practice, by the way. It's not something that comes very, very easy. All it takes is, you know, uh, you trying to spend some quality time actually figuring out how to drive your car. The only time that I notice that it doesn't actually produce a smoother shift is when you go back on the gas pedal rather quickly. So, what I mean by that is, for example, remember, 
double clutching on an upshift. You clutch in, let's say you're in third gear, you're going to fourth gear. You clutch in, you shift to neutral, you clutch out, you clutch back in, you shift to fourth gear, you clutch out, and then you give it gas, right? Well, that whole last part where you clutch out and give it gas, it depends on you know your RPM and what speed you're at, but it's very easy to apply the gas or the throttle um, too quickly and essentially what happens is you jerk from applying the, the throttle. So your shift is smooth, but because you applied the gas too quickly and maybe too with too much force, you ended up having a um, jerkier shift. But it's not the shift, it's more just you applying the gas pedal that made it, you know, kind of jerk. So maybe the reason why I don't get smooth shifts all the time is because, you know, is because I'm trying to be faster I'm, or I'm trying to shift gears and get everything moving faster than the car is actually trying to synchronize everything. Um, and then when I go to double clutch on an upshift, that essentially, that whole initial step of clutching out and clutching back in, maybe that's what's giving me that extra bit of time where now I'm essentially moving as fast as the car is to synchronize everything together. So it's not necessarily the fact that I'm double clutching on an upshift that's making the shift smoother, but maybe it's because I'm actually taking a slightly bit longer to you know, shift gears and get everything moving again that I'm actually synchronizing myself with how fast the car is doing everything for me to shift smooth. If you're watching this video, try it out you know, in your own car and come back and comment down below what car you have and whether this actually did help you out or not. But there is kind of a drawback to this whole method. The only reason especially with these newer cars, these newer transmissions and everything, the only reason I would see why you would want to actually double clutch on an upshift is to kind of just shift smooth. But I think really the transmissions now have moving parts that actually do that for you so you don't have to. I would highly advise that you should actually learn to shift smooth without having to double clutch on an upshift because really it's kind of a waste of just energy and effort because once you do it you'll see what I mean if you're not used to double clutching on an upshift when you do it it's kind of weird and if anything it seems like you're just doing a lot of work for really no gain it seems like you're just gonna be wearing out parts and also your knees as well um, rather quicker or more quicker than normally so to answer the question should you double clutch on an upshift I really don't think so unless you have bad synchros or something um, then maybe double clutching on an upshift would make sense. So I'm curious to see how this would hold up on older cars or older Mustangs or anything like that. So, um, you know, please feel free to leave a comment down below what your car is if you tried this out. Let me know if it actually worked or didn't for your car. I would greatly appreciate that feedback. But anyways, that's just kind of my take on this. Again, double clutching on an upshift. Yes, it produces a smoother shift, but at the end of the day, I think it's just a lot of wasted effort on you and your car. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below about double clutching on an upshift. And also remember, try it out on your car and let me know if it actually did anything, if it actually works. Or again, do you also have the same idea that there's really no point to double clutch on an upshift? Make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the channel. As always, I'm Steven out here hanging out, having fun. See you in the next video.